welcome to a explanation of the microwave disruptor pistol um, what you have there is a diagram and the diagram consists of different components to make up a disruptor pistol using microwave focus at the mouth of the gun the, the uh, what we call the open of the barrel of a gun um, is the Inuino microwave focus which is made of a combination of um, silicon crystal and iridium focus which is sort of like iridium crystals in a sort of arrangement of sort of like prisms pyramidal four-sided prisms interlocking on a layer embedded between two layers of silicon and then curved to create focus arrays behind this you have microwave focus speakers systems made of graphite graphite microwave spot speakers that are specially processed in helium with programming of microwaves sorry not microwaves magnetic waves sorry that's uh, I was reading something off the diagram sorry my apologies um, magnetic coiling using helium and magnetic coiling electromagnetic programming intensified magnetic frequencies uh, we're talking about giga ohms per nanosecond of cycles of microwave focus uh, interchanging programming per pad of microwave speaker and you have an arrangement of three speaker systems one two and three in between two and three are iridium spheres surrounding the entire matrix all the way around the coiling the coiling in the diagram explains as you see from the magnetic coils the um, interchange between the microwave speakers at the back between the helium gas exchange pods and then you have at the back of the gun a magnetic electro powering generator ring uh, I'll explain that in another explanation video about that um, also linked to the magnetic electric powering generator ring is a colorless battery in the handle which is not exchangeable the colorless battery is continually charged and cannot be replaced but it has a lifelong standing half-life of 10,000 years if made right a colorless battery is simply um, carbon alkaline jelly processed 10 times concentrate that you find an alkaline battery on the shelf in the shop and uh, gold and zinc rodding systems with a zinc focus core so you have gold zinc and zinc but the zinc is intermixed with iron graphite Uh, and then it's insulated with a rubber colors so it's called the colors battery and silicon mix so the rubber is mixed with a uh, vulcanized rubber mixed with silicon jelly and set uh, in a um, what we call the cold oven using helium and then you seal it in a rubber casolas and it has to be fire retardant and heat retardant polymer um, also inside you have what they call a hydrogen pod which is linked to the exchange of the helium but it's a Saracen pod so if the fingerprint recognition system you have on the handle doesn't recognize you as the user when you imprint them for the first time and it sees you as an imposter holding the gun it will detonate the helium 
the helix hydrogen pod known as a Saracen device. The Saracen device is an anti and <clears throat> excuse me, coughing, an anti terrorist or anti traitor system. Um the siding of the gun is venting systems. Um so when you fire the gun what you have is an exchange of high energy ozone release and what happens is you get if you don't release it through the venting in the side of the gun you get a backfire which causes the entire gun to explode now this will react and act on the Saracen system and close the vents when you pull the trigger charging up the inside of the gun with ozone vapor and plasma if the Saracen device is activated and the hydrogen pods activate and fire in hydrogen to the chamber with the plasma mix, it will decimate the gun and the holder, causing an inversion reaction with the microwave firing. Uh, well, there you go. That's an explanation short term of the pistol. Due to uh, equipment, I can't explain it fully because uh, I need to point things out and I don't have an ability to do that so uh, in future when I get the equipment I'll be able to properly explain the gun uh, shielding um, is basically the insulator inside the microwave oven interweaved into a um, Kevlar weaving and you can create a shielding Kevlar from that it's that simple but the intensification of the insulation inside the microwave oven, the insulator that protects the user of the microwave oven, that very element has to be interweaved into the Kevlar. And also with leading, small fiber weave leading, uh, that'll help create a insulator against the microwaves. It's also good for shielding working with things like the CERN system that you get in Switzerland at the Kaleidotron so you can get really close up to the Kaleidotron when it's near active um, I won't recommend it when it's fully lit firing but it will protect you in case you get caught out when it's firing if you have a suit on so that's an idea